Hey Virgo, what is up? What is up? We are doing your love reading. This is for my gorgeous Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new, hello. Go ahead, subscribe. We have fun here. But most importantly, when the jokes are down with the cards, <laughs> once the shenanigans stop. But the shenanigans never stop. What do we do? We heal, we elevate, we expand our consciousness so we can shine our love and light onto others and make their love and light shine. If you're returning, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. We're building such a lovely, beautiful community. I just, I can. I'm so grateful. So let's do this. Six of Cups, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, Mercury retrograde, I'm not surprised. A little nostalgic. <laughs> my goodness, oh my goodness, Virgo. Two of cups is your challenge. Nine of wands, okay, a little um, guarded here. The hangman, Piscean energy. Six of wands, victory. Oh no, nine of swords, Ugh, leave it to Virgos. I'm a Virgo, don't worry about it. Leave it, leave it to us to um, overthink, stress, right? Over analyze. We like, how do we like our eggs over? Because <laughs> we like to overthink. <gasps> Queen of Swords, beautiful. We got uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy here. Ace of Pentacles, hello. Five of Pentacles in your fears and uh, hopes. We got the star, more Aquarius energy, beautiful. Something we, something ended, we are ending something. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know who I'm looking at. Hopefully it's this overthinking because we go from a niner to a tenner, which is beautiful. <gasps> Ten of, I, I usually never look, I never look, but I got this uh, feeling to look, look at that. What do, what do we always say here? What do we, there's no endings, just beginnings. There's no beginnings without an end, right? We are all looping. Look at this. Something um, finishes, something starts, something starts. Oh, this is beautiful. You go from 10. Yeah, transformation, rebirth. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's not get distracted like we just did. What's the, why is the two of cups? I'm not even, I just started shuffling. Look at that. Death came out, Scorpio uh, energy, Ten of Pentacles, wow, strength, this is gorgeous, this is um, honest, oh, it could be dealing with a Leo here, but this is beautiful, this uh, whatever situation ship, whatever <laughs> ship you're in or were in, because you're changing here, because you're getting aligned with your higher self. Remember, two of cups is also your relationship with your higher self. Through your transformation, you're finding the spiritual strength, this uh, courage to go after the ten of pentacles, stability, right? Um, whatever that is to you, this could be your bank account, ten of pentacles, right? Top tier. But this is this is gorgeous. This is also you embracing transformation. And for a lot of you, we have five of pentacles changes here, but you, it's about your perception and how you see it. Either you can see as in, wow, the lights just came on. There's a new building that I haven't seen before. Let's go and look, let's explore. Or your perspective could be, I'm here out in the cold, but look at these people in this building. You see how our perspective uh, is everything, perception, perspective. This is beautiful. Let's see what the Six of Cups says. Your overall energy. Are you Virgo? A Virgo, Ten of Cups. The Sun. Nine of Pentacles. Heavy Leo here now. I can't ignore it. But... This, this is insane. This is ultimate happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck. And this is independence. Like I said, a lot of you are working on your stability, working on your alignment. Wow, that's your overall energy. This is so beautiful. 
And I think through all of this, you know how I just said you went through a transformation. You uh, tapped into your spiritual strength. And this has helped you not only um, find your independence, find your strength spiritual, but it um, made you more assertive. This is, Nine of Pentacles is being um, building your garden, caring for whoever is in your garden. This has um, leveled you up. Thank you, Spirit. This has definitely leveled you up. And you no longer fear change. You no longer see it as, oh, frightening. Very, very frightening. Galileo, Galileo, Figaro. We got Queen on deck. You no longer see it as frightening. You know, you're like, oh, no, death. You are now embracing it. You're like, it's bringing me... Um, it's elevating me. Thank you. And what did I say? It's all about perception. It's all about perspective. We got the hangman here. Let's uh, let's see the hangman. But we do have the nine of wands. So some of you are still guarded. The hangman, please, for my Virgos. Ten of swords. Beautiful. Putting an end to overthinking. Two of uh, wands. Nine, what did I, I literally, when I was shuffling, I was talking about the nine of wands. Nine of wands came up in order to put your guard down, in order to uh, stop resisting. This is also a very strong resistant cards because you, you know how she's holding the branch. In order to stop resisting, you have to see opportunities. You have to follow your heart. Um, um, two of wands is your desires what do you want to build this is choices you're finally opening up to choices and you're seeing them as opportunities you're seeing them as um beautiful oh my god you're seeing choices that are going to put you in empress mode you want to level up you want to expand your consciousness this is so gorgeous and this is why you're putting an end and you're becoming comfortable with transformation with leaving or not even leaving something or someone behind but um recognizing divine timing right recognizing this was here for whatever it, purpose it served and now um there's something else but this is where you put your guard down. This is beautiful. Let's do Queen of Swords. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ace of Swords. You have new clarity coming in. That's going to help you um, on guard yourself. I am done. The Magician. That's your card. The world, you are you are literally stepping into your uh, Queen of Swords, tapping into your wisdom, your knowledge. What do I always say? Every tarot is a beautiful tool. Tarot is guidance. Tarot is gorgeous for uh, meditative work, for any anything, right? But what do I always say? The answers, the answers, dear folks, dear souls, consciousness, whatever you like to be called, it's always within you. It is always any answer you you seek. It's always in your higher self and in, in your intuition, and you're recognizing you have all the wisdom of the universe, aka collective consciousness. You're recognizing you're limitless. You're connected to the universe, and now you're starting to create as above, so below. Magician, oh, heavy Scorpio. Um, but what are you creating, dear souls? You're creating this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles the happiest card in the sun joy inner peace wow wow there's you just closed the cycle and the cycle could have been you doubting yourself the cycle could have been you being guarded this is so gorgeous this is so gorgeous and you got ace of pentacles coming in um let's see what this nine of swords is though what's the nine of swords Nine of Swords flew out. Clarifying Nine of Swords. Interesting. Five of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That took a weird... That took... A, I don't... And we have the star here. Okay, well, two ways I'm going to read this. Two ways I'm going to read this. Either this is someone else stressing about your situation with them. And they're in the... Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, looking at the past, looking, uh, feeling lag, and really, really stressing over this. 
and trying to manifest this relationship back or this is still a lot of my virgos here um not seeing your potential not seeing that you're a conscious creator not tapping into your wisdom within and recognizing this is all uh up to you remember um virgo 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 even crosswatcher i don't uh, pff, whoever is listening we do not play could have should have would have we accept the past we learn lessons we express gratitude and we recognize we're a ten of pentacles either way with or without someone and this is all a mindset perspective perception this goes back to that dear souls no 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 healing we got the star twice we need to start healing. We need to start uh, uh, doing shadow work and our child work here. And we have to recognize what the false ego is and what your uh, intuition, your uh, higher self is. And not, your higher self is not ever in five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is the false ego making you feel like you're lack and keeping you in the low vibrational energy. And you cannot really manifest abundance, wealth, happiness, love from that space let's see five of pentacles what's the five of pentacles please seven of swords false ego self-deceptive thoughts here people eight of cups looking at the past looking at the dust bunnies in the cup that has no more that has no love we are okay we are far, thank you wow beautiful piscean energy we're we're tapping in we're finding the confidence to open up to the universe again and to say hey 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 i am capable well first of all we're saying this to yourselves right let's uh, change your dna through words which is energy and thoughts which is also energy we're let's show ourselves and the universe that we have everything we need inside of us remember the fool and the magician the magician uh, shows off that he has all the tools right he's like here manifesting the the fool has all the tools here he doesn't need to boast he doesn't need to show anyone anything he knows also inside his heart because he has faith in the universe look how he's going for it so inner child work we gotta build our inner child up if you've neglected whatever it is you want to do pursue if you've neglected your inner child please 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 healing is here uh after this video is done do so, research some inner child meditations i feel like that would be really helpful for you because you have some thoughts that are keeping you in the five of pentacles energy and a lot of my virgos need to shift your perspective you're seeing something very narrow and black and white and a, from an old old uh programming that no longer serves you and it's uh it's not healing nor is it helping you uh, reach your wish fulfillment let's see the star let's see the star please to the union we got four of uh ones what did i say it's all about divine timing divine timing beautiful there you there you are queen of swords ace of cups i am so done i am so done filling your own cup with love filling your where it overflows look how she's nurturing herself with this jug of water and the earth mother Ga uh, gaia around her find balance but before you can right nurture anyone or help anyone you need to fill your own cup self-love self-care people and cut out anything that no longer serves us for others the way to read this remember this uh queen of swords whether it's someone else manifesting you they want union they want four of wands with you because they see you as their wish fulfillment and there is low we got ace of cups but it's up to you general reading but this is you have to also let's do nine of wands you have to be open to it as well because two nine of uh, wands you could be wanting it to come in but then you can be guarded subconsciously so let's see what the nine of wands is here what's the nine of wands please self-love self-care 
we got it how do we open up we put love into ourselves we got uh queen of pentacles ace <laughs> ace <laughs> knight of cups and page of wands yeah it seems like you are waiting for communication for some of you but before before you can get any kind of communication you you're sending the universe the wrong signal you're you're guarded you're telling the universe i i want communication right i'm waiting for it but subconsciously you're closed off right so in order for this love to come in you have to put it into yourself first put this energy put this care into yourself shift focus for a second get out of this five of pentacle energy feeling of lack feeling where are they where are you um focus on yourself focus on your independence shift some perspectives very old programming here and everything else will come in this is beautiful this is so gorgeous um beautiful you have so many major arcanas you got strength you have death oh we got scorpio leo uh more leo we got taurus capricorn virgo here gemini libra aquarius i mean we got everybody uh pisces virgo scorpio best of luck i love you um yeah if this helped if uh, you enjoyed us leave a like comment subscribe we have fun here as you can tell but most importantly we um we expand our consciousness and we try to shift our perspective in order to grow and evolve. Um, love you. Namaste.